let's get to this. Um, my, I told you over the weekend, my makeup just was not looking like what I wanted it to do. Um, and I think it's because I have a whole lot of excess hair on my face. So I'm going to show you kind of what I do for my nightly routine and that little bit of extra, um, exfoliation. Okay. So, um, I don't know if you guys, have you ever bought these? They're from Amazon. I think they're like five or six bucks. They're super inexpensive. Um, they are by Chic. They're called Silk Touch Up. Um, expertly shapes eyebrows and gently exfoliates. So here's the deal is I have like all this hair here. This really helps with that and it makes it to where my skincare just really gets absorbed into my face and it makes my foundation look really, really smooth. And I don't want you to be scared of this process. So I am going to do it with you. And hopefully I don't um, shave off a brow um, or my hair. Someone actually sent me a picture this morning and like her whole brow was missing. And I was like, OMG, what did you do? And she was like, wow, you see what happened? <laughs> and it was kind of... Um, one of these things got too close and it just like went down. So Beth, I was just totally selling you out. Well, I just sold you out. I didn't say your name when I was telling the story about getting a picture because I'm going to show you the shaving. Okay, so take off your makeup, wash your face, and then I'll show you what I like to use with the razors. Um, and like I said, what this does is it makes my skin feel like it can more easily absorb um, my skincare and then it makes my um, foundation just look really, really smooth. It's all good. <laughs> I totally didn't call you out by name, but I was like, I'm going to try to like shape up my brow, shape my face. But I'm like, oh my gosh, I got a picture of a missing brow. And yeah, but you know what? That's what a good brow pencil or a brow um, powder is for. <laughs> okay, so these are just my Scentsy wipes. I need to take off my makeup before I wash my face. Um, these actually are kind of thin. <laughs> okay, you guys know me, I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? I hadn't bought these Pharmacy Scentsy Wipes in a while, and I couldn't remember why, because they're not that expensive. Um, they're actually very, very um, affordable. They definitely take your makeup off, but they just are not my favorite thing because of how thin they are. Do you see how thin they are? I mean, it works. So I think that's maybe just all in my head. Here's what I do like about them is it doesn't make me more oily or um, it doesn't have my skin feeling all wet and gross. I just don't like how thin they feel. Maybe that's just a me thing. So I had stopped buying them and I actually bought these really nice am or, um, lavender ones from Dollar General and I really like them a lot. And so then I thought, well, why haven't I bought these? And so I ordered like four or five packages because I think with my discount, I get them for like $2.95 or something. So they're really very affordable, but then at the same time, they're just really thin. However, it did take off all of my makeup. And if I had on fuller, um, more crazy eye makeup, I would have to use the micellar water anyway, so I don't know. Oh, I forgot to get this wet. Mm, it'll be fine. Let's cleanse our face. So I am going, <laughs> it's hilarious, I just saw that comment. Um, usually I get the sponge wet, but I mean, it's fine. This is, I, it's a, what is it called? Maybe some kind of miracle sponge thing. I don't, oh, it does work better when it's wet. It's damp from this morning because I did use it this morning, but <laughs> you guys, I'm a mess. I need water. I need water. Okay, so even after I took my makeup off, do you see that's on there? That will come right off though with um, just running it underwater. You're gonna be good to go. I did get my washcloth wet to kind of wash that off. So, I mean, I guess I'm winning there. Okay, so in the morning, you guys hear me talk a lot about my um, Lumi Radiance line. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, it brightens my skin. It does all kinds of great stuff. At night, though, I use the Age Reversist um, because I want to look young and I want to look bright and I want to have all of the great skin, right? Okay, 
So I just kind of let that dry for a second. And then I don't think this item is available. So I might have to try to figure out some, maybe the calendula oil. I don't even know if that's available still, but I really love this rose elixir oil. I think they're repackaging it or rebranding it or something because I can't imagine them getting rid of this line. It's so incredible. But what it does help with is the shaving process, okay? You guys, I haven't shaved for a while, so don't judge me, okay? Um, my skin needs to be really exfoliated. I want to get rid of all this hair. Um, and I want to kind of shave up my brows. I noticed this morning that they were really kind of bad. Let me see if I can get, I don't know if you guys can see, see all those little hairs right there? All the way around there. Yeah, you can kind of shape those up with this and then you can shave off like, okay, let me take these earrings out. This is a little much for, oh, they don't even have backs, perfect. Um, a little much for shaving the face. This might be a little bougie. Um, but like my face is just really fuzzy. You have all that peach fuzz on there. Plus, whenever you're doing these little razors, it gets all of this top layer of just dead skin off and it just feels better, okay? So, I don't like to do it on a dry face. So, hey Maria, you could do it with um, any kind of moisturizer. I just really like the oil the best. But like I said, I don't know that you can get this right now, okay? So what I do is just kind of Put the dropper everywhere, okay? And then just kind of rub it in. It just makes sure that I'm not gonna get razor burn and that that razor is gonna glide really easily so that I don't have um, scrapes and scratches. Now, I have done that, but it's fine. Let me close this so I don't get it everywhere. So these come in the three pack from Amazon. I think they're like six bucks, somewhere around there. And then it's not super sharp, but you guys, you guys, I can hear the hair coming off of here. Oh my gosh. Can you see it? I have to get something black, I feel like. Let's see. Maybe this. I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, you can see that hair, right? That is so gross. Yeah, that was just one little swipe on my face. I need to be doing this way more often. Hey, Sharla. Um, and then literally I just take it and just keep going up. I do, oh, it's so gross. Um, I do like to go up just because gravity helps. I don't want anything that's gonna pull down on my skin and make it saggy. Um, but there will be some areas that you're gonna need to maybe go down a little bit, like right here. You guys, I feel like a teddy bear right now. Can I just, like this is getting all of that hair off. I'm a hairy person apparently. Yes, Charlotte, I this weekend I just noticed that I wasn't loving how my makeup was looking and I thought, okay, so when you're over here though, make sure that you're pulling your hair back so that when you are going up in these areas, oh my God, you guys, do you see this? It's like my cat just lost a ball of hair. Look at that hair, that came off my face. Can you imagine how, um, how much your foundation is setting on that and just not being great, right? So like I said, just kind of go up. And you can go up down here too. You guys, I also, because we're friends, I can tell you this. I have a crazy chin hair, one. One that's like not there and then it's like 12 inches long or something. Where'd it go? I just felt it. And it's like dark. I have one like black chin hair. Literally drives me insane. I don't, I think I got it. Okay, we're done plucking the one chin hair I have. <sighs> Pull my hair back first. <laughs> I learned her. Oh gosh, yes. Um, I did that the same and I like shaved off a whole part of my hair here. 
Okay, so don't get too close to your brow. We don't want to cut it off. But you guys, these razors will change your makeup game. I mean, when my, I, I don't even know if you could see all that, but there's so much hair on this. It's gross. Um, the first time I did this, I was doing it for like an hour. I had no idea how hairy I was. And then I did it everywhere. We're basically twins. That's hilarious. And then I did it everywhere but right here. And Kyle, we were outside one day and he's like, babe, what's up with all the hair on your neck? It was like, it looked like it didn't belong because I had shaved my face. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I have not done this for a minute, clearly. And this is why over, do you see that? That was on my face. You guys, your, your foundation cannot look good with that much stuff right there. Oh my gosh. I, like, there's like wads of hair on me. I'm like a teddy bear right now. Oh, heavens. Okay, so you see how it's making me a little red? I have real sensitive skin already. Um, so this is why I want to do it at night. I don't want to do it in the morning. I feel like my nose is running because I think it's so cold in here. Okay, I can't use my mirror and hold my hair. Okay, so I just kind of go up as close as what I can. It's so crazy that for, oh my God. Do you even see this? This is so terrible. Do you see all of that? That's on my face. That's, this is why this weekend I literally looked in the mirror. Here's the problem is I did my makeup in a campground place and the, it was a lot of natural sunlight. And you know how sometimes you look in your bathroom light and you're like, oh, I look so cute. And then you go outside and you see yourself in the mirror of your car and you're like, what is happening here, right? That natural sun just shows everything. I felt like I could see everything in that natural light, okay? So then, you guys, come in and get your mustache. Don't be scared of the razor because it's not really going to do much damage to you. I mean, it definitely could cut you, I guess, but, um, just make sure that you're getting all of that hair. All the places. You know, don't forget your beard. You guys, I feel like the bearded lady right now. I'm not even gonna lie, there's so much. But here's some pretty amazing stuff. Okay, so see how I have like these dark spots up here? Whenever you are doing this, see how it's like taking those off? That's just taking that top layer of dead skin off and it kind of helps me with this dark area up here because I've been doing it regularly. I feel like I used to have a lot of those like dark spots and now they're not as noticeable. Okay, I'm gonna be careful close to my brow because I don't wanna end up like Beth. I'm just kidding. Okay, so I just come down where I want to. Now, if you haven't already had your brows like professionally shaped, I do recommend that first. If you have a unibrow, come in here then you can just kind of, I like to go up, like I said, just gravity alone. <laughs> oh, I knew you would appreciate that. And then I just kind of keep going. See how it has those dark spots over here too? I just kind of try to get rid of those by taking off maybe a little layer of skin. It's not taking off a lot, but you guys, I have hair on my forehead even. Oh. My goodness, okay, so then, I kinda like to take my brow up. Let me try to get close here. And then, you can really just clean up where all those little hairs are coming in. So that then, my concealer, my eyeshadow, all of that is gonna look a little better once I do my brows. So then, okay, let me just see. I see the like the hair right there okay so there's some up here on the top too just be careful around your brow in worst case scenario we just draw it all on right 
I've seen the damage I could do with it, right? I know. Okay, so then I can just kind of do all these hairs without the waxing and hurting. And really, as I'm doing my makeup and my brows every day, I just kind of, I'm like, oh, I see a little hair. And then I just kind of take my little razor and get rid of it. And then I'm good. Okay. So then make sure your hair is back. And then I just, you guys, this feels so good. Oh, hair is so gross. I have a lot of hair right now. I am very hairy. I can't remember the last time I did this though. So there is that. But then like for whatever reason, I always get like a little tuff of hair right there. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know if it's weird. It seems weird to me. And you guys can do this for as long as you want. Because you will keep getting the hairs. You can totally see a difference. It's crazy. And it makes my foundation look so... I'll have to see if I took a good picture. I should have taken a terrible picture from this weekend. Because it was like I was standing in that bathroom and I'm like, why does my foundation look so stupid? I don't like this at all. And I'm like, it's the foundation I've been using. I think that I was just at a place where the hair was getting longer and it was making my foundation look rough. And I just did not love that. And I'm always super not paranoid about my neck ever since Kyle mentioned it, that I'm gonna look all hairy on my neck. I usually don't do the back only because I'm kind of scared and uh, my hair is usually down anyways. My skin though right now feels so soft. And then I just kind of get as close to my hairline as I can. Just try, kind of trying to gently exfoliate that skin. <laughs> You're going to make me laugh and shave off my brow. And then tomorrow I'm be like, okay, so for those of you who do not use razors well and are missing a brow, here's your brow tutorial. That's going to be me. Okay. So then I also do try to get my nose just because I know that there is a lot of excess skin, not really hair so much, but then I can just kind of exfoliate it a little bit as well. <coughs> because remember, um, exfoliating, it's going to ensure that your, your skincare really absorbs into, why is there still so much hair coming off? <laughs> you guys, it's so much hair. but it's okay. We got this. But literally the first time I did this, I was downstairs for like an hour or more and the kids kept coming down. Are you still shaving your face? Yep. Still shaving my face. I don't want to shave off all my hair here. I just want my foundation to look good. Okay. Okay. You guys, my face feels so soft. Um, it doesn't have that texture to it that it did with all that hair. Like I I feel like if um, you had come over and I had just put all of this hair into a box, you could build a bear with it. Okay, okay. But don't forget to do your skincare after this so that you make sure that your face doesn't get irritated and it's not raw. Because you can see where mine's definitely a little red, for sure. But, yeah. Okay. So, I think we're good. I think we're good, okay? So, then I'm going to do a little bit of my Age Reverses um, Tonic Spray. Mm, I love this stuff so much. It leaves my skin feeling um, just very refreshed. Maybe a little tighter. It's kind of what toner does, I guess, a little bit. And then I'm going to do my serum. So this one, I guess you... Oh, yeah, you could probably use this one. I could have probably used this one to shave. Um, it's it's um, not real runny like the oil, um, but it's definitely liquidy, okay? So serum goes on. And this is going to help me reverse the signs of aging, okay? 
So I did my toner, my serum, my eye cream, and then there is a moisturizer. However, I am not going to use the moisturizer because I love the um, All Night Beauty Mask. In Europe, apparently, night creams are called masks, something I didn't know. But this is kind of almost like a gel. You can see I use this every night. I do not, like, even if I don't do my whole skincare routine, I take off my makeup, I wash my face, and I use this. Even if I don't use all the other steps of toning and seruming and all the things. But you guys, I just kind of get a little amount there. Not a ton. Okay. And then put it on. This will increase collagen by 52%. I think we can all agree that that's a good thing. All right there, okay. Um, but make sure too that you are doing skincare on your neck. Um, otherwise, I think that you're gonna have a very like 30 year old face with like a 110 year old neck. Um, and I don't think we want that. But yeah, so this is kind of my nighttime routine. And then I do always do my lip conditioner and lip plumper now that I've found it. You guys, I haven't had it for like two months. It was literally in a basket of makeup, in a box, brand new. But it just really hydrates conditions and then I feel like my lips don't look all chapped and icky for matte lipstick. And it's pepperminty, so I feel like I'm going to bed with fresh breath. And then last step is my lash serum. I actually have eyelashes now thanks to this lash serum. I'm thinking hard about that set. I don't love my current moisturizer. Oh, okay, so I absolutely love, love, love this AJ Versus line. Um, I have, I have all of the lines, and I do put this in my brow. You might need this. <laughs> it's a lash and brow serum and it helps um, your hair grow back. And I actually have lashes where before I just felt like I didn't. And my brows used to kind of stop about there and now I actually am getting fuller brows. But then I have lashes now. I used to have zero lashes. This lash thing is the lash serum is really amazing so i have every skincare set they have the only one that i don't currently have is the acne and the aqua i bought them both i tried them both so that i could see how they felt and smelled but i don't necessarily need either one of them so i gave them both to stella but i have used all the other lines my two favorite are the Lumi Radiance because I love an SPF during the day and I want my skin to look brighter and healthier and have a really nice glow to it. Um, but my number one favorite is going to be this Age Reverses. Um, one, it smells like sweet tarts and two, I feel like any other, okay, so I used to have crow's feet really bad and I had a lot of wrinkles around my eyes, which I'm going to be 42 this year. I expect some wrinkles, right? I expect some wrinkles. I, I expect it. I, I'm not going to lie and say that I don't want any wrinkles, um, anything like that. But um, I used a very expensive product that was about $100 a bottle um, for the same size as this. And it was $97 um, after tax and shipping. And in the beginning, it lasted me one per month. And then after that, after I kind of got my face under control a little bit, I could go through one every other month. Um, these last me months. Um, even using them every day, several months, it'll last me. Um, you use the Aqualine. Stella loves the Aqualine. Stella is going to be 20 this summer and she has acne. So she, um, she has tried the Calendula line. She's tried the Aloe line. Um, she tried the, and then, so she tried the acne line and she said, the smell of it isn't great, but it doesn't last. So it's doable. But she said it was really drying out her face, especially under her eyes. She said she felt like they were looking old because they were so dry. So I gave her the aqua line and she 
loves, loves, loves the Aqualine. Um, I'm oily, so I don't know that I really need the Aqualine, which is why I think I love um, the Age Reverses. So um, I had found a really great night cream. It was like $100 every other month. And I loved it, but it wasn't a day cream, it wasn't a cleanser, it wasn't a toner, it wasn't anything other than a night cream, right? But it did really help with the wrinkles. Um, with the last company, they came out with skincare, so I was like, okay, great. I stopped that, started with the new skincare, and all the crow's feet started coming back. Um, and I cried. So I said, no, I stopped promoting that. I just kind of went with the makeup side of that. And... Um, went back to the $100 every other month product um, because I knew it worked, right? Well, then the old company came out with another skincare line and I was like, yay, this one's gonna be better. It's gonna work. So I stopped using the really expensive and I started using this, which actually was more, I, I don't even know where my mind was at, but I started using it and actually even sooner than the previous skincare line, um, they, the crow's feet started coming back. So again, I started back with the $100 every two months product, um, and I loved the product. I did. I loved it. It was great. It was just really costly, right? So um, when I started with pharmacy, I wanted to give it a fair shot. So I started with the Age Reverses line, and I use all the products, and look, they're not back. And I have been using this skincare line for um, a little over a year. So yeah, and let me tell you. Let me say, okay. Um, the mask is probably the most expensive thing, and it's $49.90. So it's a little more, but the cleanser, and I like just the gel cleanser. Sometimes when you get an exfoliating cleanser, you can't use it every day. Um, it's great, but you shouldn't use it every day. So I like just the plain gel cleanser, it's $16.90. The tonic is $29.90, which I just think is so affordable. The um, moisturizer is $29.90. The serum is $54.90, which I think is a lot. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. It's not so much because I get half off of that. Um, and the eye cream is $24.90, which I feel like for eye cream, $25, bucks, I think that's pretty good. So it's not great. And really, I would need to add that up to tell you because in the um, beauty kit, you can get the Lumi Radiance or in the skincare, skin enhancing kit, you can get the Lumi Radiance and the Age Reverses, the entire line for 140 when you join for 20. So it'd be 160. You're having some connection issues, man, oh man. Um, I do not skip my skincare. I am always doing my skincare um, because I want my skin to look young forever. But do you see how like, glowy it is? And amazing but you do see where I have like the dark circles around my eyes whenever I was using the Lumi Radiance morning and night I didn't notice that so much so I might have to I don't know mix and match a little bit of those two lines for what I need but we have so many lines um, so there's something I feel like for everyone and if you have questions or you just wanna shoot me a message and tell me about your skin, um, I can recommend a line for you because while this Age Reverses is my personal favorite, it might not work for you. Or you may be saying, I really don't look old or I don't care if I look old or all the things. I just want like these to look lighter. Lumi Radiance, it's a brightening line. Let's do that. Um, you may say like, I'm so dry, my skin is like flaking off everywhere. Okay, let's do the calendula or the aloe line. Those two are really great. Or the aqua line for sure. I always forget about it because it's new. Um, Stella loves that line. Um, if you are acne prone, there's an acne line, there's a tea tree line. You have sensitive skin, there's the calendula line, like all the things, right? So if you have questions about your skin, just message me and I can kind of tell you um, what I think would work best for you. Um, and I can tell you what works best for me and definitely, definitely get these things off Amazon because they will be a game changer for one, your skincare and two, your foundation. It just looks so much different and so much better. And I feel just very much more feminine without like the beard going on. Okay. Okay. Oh, and the charcoal line. Yes. The charcoal line is amazing. Um, I use parts of that because I love the pore minimizing tonic from them and I love the mask. 
I don't necessarily maybe use all of the steps all the time, but I do really like that line. Um, and the tea tree, I actually have the tea tree soap in my shower and I rotate it with the pure rose every morning to help with um, oily skin and red skin. Like there's literally a skincare for everything. And even if you don't want an entire line, we can kind of mix and match, right? So you can kind of get a cleanser of this, a tonic of this, depending on like maybe you have five issues. Let's, let's get you hooked up with like different parts from each line. So I love you guys. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I can go live on Instagram and Facebook at the same time. My computer, the lighting is really, really bright. Um, and I can't figure out how to get that to not make me look washed out and bright. Like I want it to look, this is what my skin looks like, right? In real life is what I see in my camera right now. Um, but I can't get that from my computer. I don't know what to do. Kyle says maybe I need an external camera. I don't know. I am not a tech person. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm trying to figure it out. And until then, I'm going to try to go live some on Facebook and some here, um, so that I can do both because I'm really starting to kind of enjoy Instagram where before I hated it. <laughs> but I love you guys. Look how white my teeth are. I need to take after pictures. Maybe I will do that tonight um, or maybe in the morning. But um, I've been using that whitening toothpaste. It's working. And I used the AP toothpaste for years from what, New Skin? Um, and it didn't do what this whitening toothpaste is doing. Like it's white. It's really white. Like I'm, I don't know why I'm shocked. I don't know why I am. I've loved everything from pharmacy. Literally just a couple things. One of them being these wipes and it's just cause they're thin. They still work like a dream, but they're thin. So it makes me think that they're weird. I don't know. That's just, it's in my head. I don't know. Um, but I've told you guys some things I don't love, but I don't know. Yeah. An antibacterial soap before my heart cuts. I'm using the tea tree soap. Yes, that's perfect. Um, I love the tea tree bar soap for, um, my brushes. And then I have one of those, um, like uh, exfoliating pour thing devices in my shower and I use a soap with those in the, in the mornings and then I put a little bit of the tea tree liquid on there to really make sure that it's clean for the next time I use it. I'm using it with soap but it still seems like it's probably getting dirt from my face so I don't know but I love you guys. Thanks for joining me so late. Um, I promised myself this morning I was gonna show my Instagram people some love and come on here and chat with you and then I really just wanted to go to bed um, because one, I was terrified. Uh, my neck was turning red. I was so nervous to come on here. I don't even know why um, because I know that you guys love me and you're so sweet and you're so nice to me, but um, it's still just out of my routine to do things in the evening time. And so then it becomes scary again, but I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing night and I will see you over on Facebook in the morning. <laughs> Bye guys.